Quad 6.6. Something a little different for you today. Um, I'm getting out of the house and riding up to a spot over here. Let's see if I can show that to you. Um, it's about 40 minute uh, ride from my house. And this is actually um, the original plan here. Um, what I've wanted to do with quads for a long time is that I like going for long mountain bike rides and this is one of my training loops where I can go ahead and ride hard for a long time because it's just a an open fire road. And I always ride past these places that seem like they'd be really cool places to uh, to go and fly. But I haven't done it, I guess, until today. But I want to give a shout out to Brandon Beans. Uh, he's been doing a lot of long range and posting really cool flight videos. And it's been reminding me, you know, this thing I wanted to do for quite a while. So, I'm going to put this away finish my ride on pack and we'll try and give it a shot. All right, I made it up here um, to the spot that I want to try. Let's see if you can see that. Um, this is going to be very, very different from what I'm used to. You know, I'm kind of realizing if we take a look at this, there's quite a bit of distance to get out to those rocks. And um, I feel like I need a bigger quad. But, you know, we'll give it a shot and figure it out. Uh, if the DVR is a little weak, it is what it is. Okay, uh, I think I'm ready to go here. This quad I'm gonna be flying, so Touring 122. Um, this is just the 2S1, so this is more from my backyard, but it's what I had available, so. Go ahead, fly it, and see how we go here. Well, disoriented already. Holy cow. Shoot. It's gotta be over there. Okay, that was um, slightly terrifying. So the first pack, I basically flew up and basically immediately got disoriented. Um, it's big enough out here where very quickly I don't hear the quad anymore. Uh, it's very different than obviously in the smaller spaces. And then um, I kind of blend in. So this little this little spot where I picked to sit has like zero identifiable features. So the first battery, um, I kind of started to panic basically almost immediately when I realized I was disoriented. So then I went into um, problem solving mode of, well, what can I do? And I thought the best thing I could do is find a place with the quad that looked like um, I will be able to identify it when I'm just walking around, hiking around. And so there's fire roads just not just over the top and they're really easy. The problem is I'm on the other side of this little rise so that as I kept trying to go to that fire road, my pictures kept pixelating out. And so I was blocked from flying it all the way in. And so I kept trying, trying, trying. And eventually I'm like, I just have to put the quad on a trajectory and hope I hit the dirt and stay there. And, um, I, as it turns out, almost did it. I basically probably hit the dirt or maybe just slightly overshot it, ended up in a tree. Fortunately, the quad was facing out towards the dirt road. So as I was hiking around, I was kind of checking the goggles because I could, could kind of see off in the distance. And at one point in time, I just walked right in front of the quad 
and saw myself in the goggles and then like I'm like turning around and stuff trying to get like reoriented and um, I was kind of making myself laugh um, but yeah I, I need a bigger quad um, and also I think I need a uh, more powerful VTX to be able to this doesn't seem all that far but that's pretty far where those rocks are um, so I need to find another spot where I can get up into the rocks uh, closer to be able to fly up in them and get a little bit of um, freestyle going. Okay, much uh, much different sort of spot here. I'm much closer to the rocks. I'm right off the road too so that if I get disoriented I should be able to pick myself up really easily and have a s space I can actually get back to confidently without panicking. All right, let's see if I can reach the rocks now. See, I got much easier target here now. Still makes me pretty nervous heading out here. But there we go. Now I can at least have a little bit of fun. Oh, that's kind of cool. And I'm right over here, so good. So that's pretty sweet. I definitely want to get a better um, antenna for this thing because this is making me pretty nervous seeing all that little sparkle. But it's amazing, it's still how far these rocks actually are. It's crazy. A little flash made me nervous. They're so big too, it's like there's not even any like freestyle to do. And you can see all these guys coming through. Oh, power lines. This thing's moving along, but you just don't even... I need a bigger, faster quad, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely like a... This is definitely the 2S backyard flyer. But, still fun though. This is still kind of cool. Logging these poor batteries. Somebody commented you wanted to see some different spots. I think that qualifies. Oh man. I think I'm going to do one more battery wrap this up. Well, 
fly, quad, fly. I'm like drilling the throttle. This is like three quarters throttle. And it's like barely moving. I think Bot Grinder would make fun of this for being cruisy mountain surfing instead of hardcore freestyle, and it's true. But I am way too nervous, uh, I think, to fly anything but just cruisy little mountain surf. It's kind of interesting, you just kind of want to go big with everything. Slow. Because it's such big geography. Ooh, that's super cool though, wow. That's pretty, pretty cool though. Beautiful out here. Jeez. It's so big. Like, that just takes forever. It's crazy. It's insane how big these rocks actually are. Very cool. Well, till next time, cheers. <laughs>